Hi folks, Bryony Thomas here, author and founder of Watertight Marketing, here for day 8 of 10, marking 10 years in business, giving you 10 years of my entrepreneurial learning and the key lessons I've brought with me on that journey, and giving you 10 opportunities to grab gifts from Watertight Marketing to power your own entrepreneurial growth. You may have noticed that today is not a live video, it's a recording, because today, for me, is a mummy day, and I will be out and about with my six-year-old all day. And that, in many ways, goes to today's lesson. Today's lesson is about prioritising. It's about accepting, as an entrepreneur, that we can't always do everything that we think of, and that sometimes it's not more ideas that we need for our business, it's fewer that we can actually focus on. And today's um, gift goes with that. So if you would like some help understanding your marketing priorities, then today we're gifting full access to our 90-minute video-guided course that shows you how to constantly reprioritize your marketing priorities in a touchpoint leak assessment. We sell this for £95, and today you can get that for just £10. You go to watertightmarketing.com forward slash 10 years and you can follow the links there. This is a tool that I've created initially over my 12 year career before starting out in business. So everything that I'd learned in big businesses, I wanted to bring to small businesses so that they could make a big difference. And this is the tool that I came up with. It's the 13 ways that most people leave money on the table. And so over 10 years, I got to the idea over the last 10 years, we've refined this tool because what I see in the businesses we work with and in myself is that there is no shortage of demands on your time, no shortage of ideas, no shortage of ways and things that you could be doing and things on the to-do list. What we really need is focus and an ability to prioritise. And what I find is having a framework and a tool to um, put down all my options, whether that's just a pros and cons list, um, that can be really important because a decision is better than no decision. Even if you have what you consider to be um, equal priorities, competing priorities, and you throw a dice, I would rather you did that than stay stuck. And so prioritising is probably um, one of the key things that differentiates particularly high growth businesses from businesses that stay stuck. And often what it can mean is not progressing on areas of the business that might seem obvious to others. I have literally lost count of the number of times I've sat down with someone who's um, recently encountered the water type marketing methodology and the, the kind of body of work that we have and said, have you thought about this? And I go, yes, I have. Um, and it's about number seven on the list. So when I get there, Cheers for that. Um, so sometimes it's you know it's not the it's not that you haven't got the ideas, and it's not sometimes that people um, can say to you, "Have you thought about this?" And you go, "Oh gosh, yeah, I really need to get on with that." Um, sometimes you need to stay focused on your priorities, and that can mean that um, some things that are on your list take longer to achieve, and it's about finding comfort in frustration and I know that sounds that sounds odd but I think true entrepreneurs are, are always frustrated because if you are entrepreneurial if you do want to drive your business forward there's always more you could do there's always more you could do um and for marketing in particular marketing is never something you cross off because you can always do it bigger and better and it needs doing again tomorrow um so you know so often in our businesses we encounter things that could be a good idea at some point in the future but right now need to be parked and one of the things that um that i think has got me through the frustration is to set up systems for catching ideas that i might use later because there's something about getting them out of your head and, and stored somewhere um that means that you can move on and you can feel like you've caught that so i um i simply have an e email address called ideas um and i forward ideas and then uh, and I, I file them in a way that makes sense to me so that if i'm going to come Back to them later then I can do those later with our touchpoint leak assessment which is what we're gifting today what I've seen people do is they set up folders with numbered leak 1 to 13 and because they get the traffic light report and um, anything that's not read 
they've got an idea for it, they just put it in the order that the um, assessment uh, gives them. And that's really liberating. It's really liberating to be able to park something, but to be able to park it with confidence, which is that's a fantastic idea. Thank you for that. I'm putting it in at number seven. Um, and when I get there, I'm going to pull that idea out again. Thank you very much. Um, and sometimes that can just release you from a, a cycle of, um, of holding the ideas in your head um, and also not being able to work out which one to do first. Um, and so my lesson for today is, is to prioritise. How you do that is up to you. Um, I'm a big fan of frameworks and thinking tools. Obviously, that's what we do here at Waterstrike Marketing is give you the tools to outthink rather than outspend your competition. We have over 85 different frameworks for getting ideas out of your head and organise so that you can see them clearly and make a confident decision. And so clearly for me, I love those sorts of frameworks. I love 24 Assets um, from Daniel Priestley. Great way of, uh, of getting um, to some priorities in your business beyond marketing. Um, obviously, I, uh, for me, marketing always seems to float to the top of the list because that's my area of comfort is what I'm good at. Um, and so finding some people who can help you organize um, priorities across your business, outside your, your area of influence is really important, which goes back to mentors, etc. But I, I would say that um, find some tools that work for you to help you prioritize and stick to them. Don't change the tools because I would, um, and I do, come back to reprioritizing using the same tools um, at least every quarter. So that then you can rejig them, put them back into sequence because I think the sequence in which you do things is sometimes as powerful, um, if not more powerful than the things that you do. Um, so kind of looking forward um, at when I do this, it means that can happen, which means that can happen. So sequencing things. Um, so find a tool that you like for prioritising and use it. Oh, we can hear all the kids in the background there. I've got a, a house full, um, a gaggle of girls all staying over tonight um, ahead of uh, ahead of Mummy Day tomorrow. We're off on an adventure. Um, and that's my priority for tomorrow is spending time with my family. Um, and I hope that you also prioritise that um, in your business. So please help yourself to the um, Touchpoint Assessment which, we, which is a 90-minute guided training um, in the tool so that you can use it again and again and again. Um, it includes half an hour with one of our experts um, who will go through the priority plan that comes up for you. Um, and we normally sell that for £95. And in celebration of 10 years of business, that's £10 today. You go to watertightmarketing.com forward slash 10 years um, and you can get to those details there. This is a recorded session um, which means that I'm not seeing your comments live so if you've got some brilliant tools to help you prioritise do share them and um, say what works for you um, and I will pop back later and have a look at those and see if there's anything we can share. I think my key thing is to um, get comfortable with the frustration Find systems for parking ideas so that you can get them out of your head and feel comfortable that you'll come to them later. To reprioritize at intervals using the same tool. And to remember that any decision is better than no decision. And so even if you make a priority, you get it done and you come back to it later and you think, gosh, I wish I'd done that first. It was better to have done something to have done, than to have done nothing. That's it for me today in terms of lesson. That's it in terms of the gift today. I really hope as many of you as possible um, go for that uh, touch point assessment. It's quite possibly my favourite tool. Um, it's not the one that's included with the conference, so a few people um, may may see the. Uh, that there's a Touchpoint Leak profile included with our conference in September. Um, that is the brand new software tool that we're building, which is an online tool to, um, and it takes 13 minutes of kind of um, profiling questions and it pops out your priority plan for you. What we're gifting today at £10 rather than £95 is the 90 minute training that would help you to understand how to prioritise things. Whereas the uh, Profit Priority Profile, which we are um, packaging in with our conference in September, is a tool that prioritises it for you but doesn't teach you how to do it. Um, so that uh, tells you the difference between the two. So go and uh, help yourself to that with my love um, and I hope um, you will share with us how you reach your priorities so that you can stay ahead of your frustration, slightly ahead of your frustration and focused on things that will move your business forward. I will be here tomorrow for day nine of 10 and Friday is a real biggie in terms of um, gifts from us. So I hope to see you tomorrow and Friday to finish off um, these wonderful 10 days of lessons and love from my 10 years in business. Lots of love from me. Bye.